Now we're going to do the light shadow pattern in charcoal. I've laid out my sphere and my shadow slightly different from the last time, a little more angled on the light so that it's not hitting the ball quite the same way. Laying in in vine charcoal to start with very roughly, just the dark areas. I'm not trying to get any subtlety yet. Charcoal is a very different kind of medium. It's more of a layering, although you can layer in pencil too smudging it out with my rag and then erasing out the light areas. <clears throat> this again gives me a chance to refine things a little bit. Nothing's going to be per pure white except for maybe the highlight on the ball. I'm not going to get into that too much right now. I'm using my compressed charcoal to put in this black area behind the sphere. Remember, compressed charcoal won't get lighter when you rub it. It'll get darker. So it's great to have an area that's really black because you can pick up the charcoal and move it around the drawing. It might be easier for you when you're doing this part to use the uh, pencil, like I am right here, to define the edges. Now don't press hard when you're defining the edges of the sphere because you don't want a dark outline. Outlines are only there to help you get started. But once you really get going, you want to get rid of those outlines as much as possible. So when I rub my compressed charcoal, it obviously gets a lot smoother. I'm adding some black into that um, core shadow along the band in the middle of the sphere just by rubbing it from the dark area. Now I'm using my charcoal pencil to define my shadow a little better. It's a little thicker than the last one. Again, the angle of the light makes all the difference in how the light is being cast on the shadow, I mean, sorry, on the object. There's a lot to the light shadow pattern. Um, right now we want to just focus on the basic um, pieces of it. The light side, the shadow side, the cast shadow are the main pieces. So now I'm refining the shadows. I want to add that core shadow in. I want to leave some reflected light in there. Reflected light really adds a lot to the feeling of three-dimensionality of the form. Here I'm rubbing. Again, I don't want to get a hard edge along that terminator between the light side and the shadow side. I want that to be somewhat blurred. If it was a rectangular object, a cube or something like that, that would be a hard edge, but in the case of a sphere it's a softer edge. Now I'm adding in that occlusion shadow. Again, this is generally the darkest place. It's where the light just don't shine. Okay, the light can't get in there because it's too um, obscured. So that's where you're going to have the darkest dark adding in some more value to the cast shadow. The cast shadow is rarely black black except where the occlusion shadow is. There's a lot of subtlety to light and shadow and the more you can see it the more interest you can create in your light and shadows. I'm putting a layer of vine charcoal over the top. This is a great trick. It kind of smooths things out and then it's so easy to erase that you can um, easily use it to lighten areas, you know, use your kneaded eraser to lighten up areas after you've added it, but it smooths things out and it darkens things a little bit. So I love using that trick, using my stick eraser to erase out some of the areas that I want to make sure are, are lighter. I like to use the stick eraser and followed by the kneaded eraser to get out some of the eraser crumbs. Adding just a little bit of an outline there. I want to be careful of those outlines because, again, I want this to look 3D. And if the outlines are too dark, they're not going to look 3D. So I generally lighten up my outlines or, or try to even get rid of them. In this case, I'm not getting rid of the outlines completely. Adding just a little bit of white pencil in here to clean up that edge. I got a couple of marks on my light side that I couldn't erase out. So I'm just touching them up a little bit with white pencil. Generally, I don't use white pencil a lot, only to really highlight the lightest areas of my um, object. A highlight, 
or a reflection, things like that. A little bit more of the reflected light in there. I'm really at this point just kind of really fine tuning my drawing. We'll be talking about the cast shadow as a shape later on. So this is a almost done here. Nice version of light and shadow with charcoal. <laughs> 